What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stocked up trading floor. The S&P 500 was pinned for most of this week as it continued to chop around in this range. But uh, nonetheless, let's get right into this week's recap. Starting out with the swing plays, there haven't been any major new updates here. There was a new spy put play entered uh, the, over this past week. So as this progresses, we will definitely continuously update uh, the status of it. Uh, shifting over into the bot plays for the week, there weren't uh, any hybrid bot plays, but there were a handful of surge ones. We could see starting out the week, there was some action with Meta and CCJ. There wasn't anything too crazy that happened with these ones. Uh, there was also some action with Amazon, which popped up by uh, 16 to 16.8%, which was fine. Again, nothing too crazy. As the week uh, continued to progress, there was some action with Apple as well, which was definitely the play of the week, as this one popped up by 82% to 117%. So that was awesome. And then to end the week, there was some action with Intel call options, which uh, had a nice, strong... Uh, I guess you could say end to the week as those popped up by 42% to 53%. So overall, fine week, nothing like too, too crazy in either direction. Um, but as the market continues to um, move in a more momentum filled way is when you know, it's, uh, I guess you could say the momentum in the market just gets uh, easier to follow along with. But as we could see with the price action with SPY this week, again, it was somewhat choppy, which uh, does make for more mixed sentiment and momentum and just uh, less, uh, less certainty across the market as a whole. But going back to the document... Uh, as we say all the time, if you don't already short put options, definitely consider doing that. Selling put options or shorting put options or writing put options, they all mean the same thing. And uh, basically, it's when you get paid to potentially buy shares of, let's say, a company that you choose to own at a price you choose to own that company at. When you sell put options continuously on stocks that are of at least decent quality and are at prices that are at least somewhat close to what would be deemed a fair valuation, you get put in a very advantageous situation where you have an edge not only in the sense that you are selling options that are slightly more expensive than they should be, but you're essentially just... Um, you know, entering into deals to buy quality stocks at quality prices. Over the long term, these stocks uh, naturally increase in value, which uh, also helps the uh, strategy as a whole. So basically, if you don't short put options already, definitely consider doing that. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to Tom, Hunter, or myself, and we can definitely help you out. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching, and let's have a great week in the market.